dynamic, magnetically variable star that dominates every cubic inch of space in our solar system. And if I can get the video, what you would see in the video is that the sun produces storms that can be all engulfing, you know, generating this environment called space weather. The inner edge of the corona that you see that's black in the yeah, video is because there, yeah. the sun is so intense that it overwhelms the dim brightness of the corona. And, and uh, so even from space, we can't absorb the inner part of the corona. And not only Earth, you know, but the entire solar system, as you can see, lives with this dynamic star. Corona is the region where space weather is born and conditions are set for a supersonic solar wind and a super hot corona, two of our outstanding questions in heliophysics, in physics, really. To understand the corona better, NASA is actually going to be launching a mission next year, almost a year from now, how coincidental, called Parker Solar Probe. It is actually going to go touch the sun, you know, and it's going to get closer to any other spacecraft has gone before to the sun to study the corona, to actually sample the very corona that we will be seeing very soon. Yes, we will. It's almost here. Thank you. Thank you, Lika, for joining Pleasure. us. And thank you for sharing that. So now we're going to take it back to NASA Eclipse Central in Charleston. Take it away, Dwayne. Okay, now, just now coming in, we have an exclusive sneak Whoa! peek of the total solar eclipse and it is arriving at the United States. It's over the Pacific Ocean and about to reach Oregon. This is the celestial event that we've all been waiting and anticipating for years. We'll begin looking through the eyes of NASA out the window of our G3 aircraft. Let's take in the view. And now we're looking at the first glimpse of the Tolo eclipse from the ground. Wait, let's see. That's still the G3. There we go. And now we're looking at the first glimpse of the Tolo eclipse from the ground on United States soil. This is coming to us from Salem, Oregon, where thousands of people are gathered, get gathered and experiencing this monumental event, a total solar eclipse. Let's take a look and take in the view. That's the G3 there. Is that the real thing? Is, is that the real? Okay. Okay. So we're going to keep that up and then we're going to do reactions.
Okay, so as the, as the moon has now moved, the sun is appearing again, and we can see the diamond ring. It's amazing. It's fantastic. You see the outer edge. I see prominences, little red pieces of chromosphere from the lower atmosphere. This is amazing. This is absolutely amazing. Jody, what, what we got? It that is, looks pretty cool. I mean, it's breathtaking. I just even seeing it right now through the TV, it's just an amazing thing to see. I cannot imagine what we're going to feel here in South Carolina when we have our chance. Well, I hope we have our chance to, you know, Sean, and, you know, get, get that weather up here looking good here in Charleston. <laughs> Now, what do we... So, Alex... Uh, uh, Alex, what, that, what, yeah, what that are we saying actually, here? That, is that from the G3? That looks like from the G3, because I see spectra there. No, it's still from Salem. That's not, still not from you. Salem. Yeah. Okay, so you're seeing the bright... Actually, the camera is causing a little prism effect there, and you're seeing yeah. the bright light from the edge of the sun. So, that is really beautiful. That's sort of the edge of the diamond ring effect. Yeah. So Alex, now, a reminder, Alex, so when that diamond ring pops up, that's what people should put the That's when people should put your glasses back on. So when you see that diamond ring after totality, that's the signal to you that it's time to put it back on. So look now, we see the corona in Madras. That's gorgeous. That's amazing. I yeah. Mean, being able to look at that with your own eyes is an amazing experience. And that only can be seen when you have this kind of totality. So that, that, that the corona, that's the... Uh, the solar atmosphere. That's what that's what solar scientists really live for, right? Right. That, <laughs> yeah. Right. That is the origin. That is where the origin of space weather. Yeah. You know, that, that's where it comes from. That's where most of the solar flares and the corona mass ejections, big explosions of particles, originate from. Now, so, if there was solar activity, would we see it right now? Would we be able to see that popping up on the sun? The we, the if there was a coronal it's, mass ejection leaving the sun, we would we could see we it could there see it. because, in fact. We have seen it in the past, and I'll even show some history later with images that people drew of these coronal mass ejections leaving the sun during a total solar eclipse. Now, why is it so critical and so important to really get this type of view from the sun's atmosphere from the corona? Jo Johnny? You mean like in a total solar eclipse? Yes. There's, oh, there's the diamond. That's there the diamond go, ring diamond again. Ring. That's amazing. That's from Madras. Um, wow. It is important to do this because uh, we do this kind of eclipses artificially, but we do not do it as perfect as nature does. The moon covers the sun in such a perfect way that we see parts of the corona that we don't usually see. So Alex, explain that and, and safety too, right? So right now, this was the moment when you see that flash of light. That's the moment when it's time to put your glasses back on or start using your indirect methods because now it's too bright and it could damage your eye. Going beautifully dark here, it's becoming twilight. You hear everyone going crazy here. Um, you should be able to start seeing stars and we can actually see four planets. Um, this time you should see Jupiter, Mercury, Mars and Venus all in this night sky during the day. So it's just an amazing, amazing experience. And if you can't see the corona, I do have a map of it here. This is a 3D print that was done for me and it looks exactly, it's a predict of what the corona looks like today. So. If it's cloudy, here's your corona. Now, it looks like the moment of totality is upon us. Let's just take the, the, let the guys at home have a few moments to take in the sights and sounds of the crowd as totality happens on the prairie. Oh, wow. And you can see the corona. And I may cry, but you can see the corona. Um, so now you're seeing this wonderful, hazy atmosphere. I don't need my glasses now, Vince, because we are in totality. Wow. And so this is the only time that it's safe to look. But right now, you can see that hazy ring. Um, that is the chromosphere. It is looking a little bit sort of reddish. Um, yeah. And you just see there's all that, those red wisps are little prominences that are coming away from the sun. Wow. Um, unfortunately, it's, it, we can't quite see the stars yet yeah. because of the clouds. But my goodness, you can see the corona. And that is an absolutely incredible, incredible sight. Yeah, um, this is just magnificent. It really is. Everything's kind of, well, other than the people hooting and hollering here, <laughs> everything else has gone quiet. The yeah. animals think it's nighttime. Yeah. Uh, there's this amazing sort of twilight view all around us. And just look at that corona. That is incredible. Absolutely incredible. Yeah, that's amazing. Yep. And um, the moon is going to continue. Uh, we've got about 2 minutes, 35 seconds of this amazing view. And then here we come. Here comes the diamond ring. So it is glasses on again, time. Glasses on. And here it comes. There's the diamond ring.
And that is the most spectacular sight. That's amazing. <laughs> that is just incredible. Um, and of course, the diamond ring you see because the moon is not a, um, a totally smooth sphere. And so you're seeing little spots of light peeping out between the craters on the moon. And my goodness, I'm sorry, I'm so excited. It's incredible. <laughs> yeah, it, it's hard to convey the excitement of the energy. There are 10,000 people on the prairie here at the Homestead National Monument of America. And the energy is just amazing. And they've been here, a lot of them have been here since 6 o'clock this morning, and the atmosphere has been incredible. Everybody is happy, and um, it, it has just been amazing. That's just amazing. Wow. Okay, Nikki, let's, right. let's bring you over to this Sorry. side. It looks like the moment of totality has passed us here. Yeah. Now, what should we be watching for in the moments after totality? In the moments after totality, you will start to see again the Bailey's bead. So we did see that diamond ring, and I got super excited. Um, but as, as the, uh, the moon continues now to pass away, you'll start to see the solar surface come back. It's, come, it's becoming light again. Um, if we had any roosters here, they would actually be crowing. Um, so it's, it's just been, it, it's amazing. And you'll start to see the sun coming back. And I don't know, I always think how, what it would have been like if you didn't know the sun was gonna come back. You just thought it was disappearing, but here comes the sun again. So 